I made a stupid mistake that maybe we can learn from. I'm happy that I decided to build this roof structure in one piece and just install it up on here the way I did. But these, these cross 2x4s, I should have had extend the full width of the roof and not just between the posts. Live and learn. I've reinforced it and it's in a pretty good shape now. I've got a couple still pictures. I'll show you how I did that. I've also put in these two four by four posts after cutting them at an angle to match the pitch of the roof so that I would have a nice flat straight edge for the other two by fours I'm gonna be putting in. And I pieced in a bunch of two by twos between the roof rafters. With the metal roof that we're using, I felt like it might start to wave a little bit between the rafters if I didn't have that surface to work on. And it'll also maybe provide a little extra uh, surface to screw the roof onto if I feel that I need more screws than I can fit in just with the, just with the two by fours. And now it's time to start working on the walls. To make things a little easier, I'm using what's called a Craig Jig, K-R-E-G. Not a sponsor, just a, a good product that I've been using. To make pocket holes. It's just a lot more accurate for uh, toe nailing the screws in for these studs than uh, just trying to do it manually.
this metal paneling is purely a decorative element. We just like the look of it. And these screws I'm putting on, putting it on with, have the little uh, rubber rubber gasket, so it's a soft way to cinch it up there and keep it keep it on there tight. I should have painted these trim boards before screwing them in. As it was, I had to unfasten some of the metal sheeting and peel it back in order to prime and paint them. The rest of the siding and trim work I did pre-paint inside before installing it on the goat shelter.
my dad and brother were able to come out again to help with the roof and more of the fencing. I'll have video of that fencing work in another episode. If anyone's curious, I set up my camera under a table umbrella just in case of rain. I've been looking forward to putting this siding up for a little while. It takes a little bit of patience to have the, the cut pieces ready to go up and yet not put them up until I've painted them already. It saves me some time painting them before I put them up so I don't have to be quite so careful with the, the trim work and everything. But still, it feels good to make progress and you just you know, you want to put the siding up as soon as you can because that really feels like you're making progress on the building. <clears throat> I put little pieces of blue painter's tape as marks so I can see where I'm going to be screwing through the siding into, uh, into the vertical supports.
So this is pretty cool. I've been busy building the goat shelter. After using the ladder to do the roof, we set the ladder aside and a bird has gotten pretty busy building a nest right on top of it. Let's take a look. Yeah. We won't disturb it. We'll just let the mom bird take care of her, uh, her eggs. Yeah, it's a springtime thing.